Hey fam, it's April with The Possible Diet and I have a real treat for you today. Um, this is gonna be Taco Tuesday. Um, normally on Tuesdays I do a dessert recipe and then on Fridays I do like a meal recipe but I'm switching it up this week um, to share my Taco Tuesday tips. Um, I made this recipe a lot uh, when I was on the possible diet because I needed a low carb snack that was also kind of a little indulgent. So <laughs> I got in the habit, I saw this recipe for Parmesan cheese tacos, which is basically just you melt cheese in a pan and then fold it into a taco. Um, sometimes I would just melt the cheese and put it on top of a half a red bell pepper and then that would be like my little snack. Um, I also did things like I added uh, salt-free everything bagel seasoning on top of the Parmesan cheese, which gave it like a little bit of a flavor. Um, so this is kind of a go-to that I use a lot when I just need a snack that's, you know, like under 200 calories that has enough fat in it to keep me satiated for a while. Um, so feel free to riff on this however you want. When I'm actually making tacos, um, I use one of these pans. Um, you can buy this online. Um, I think this is by Chicago Metallic. Um, this is sort of like how you use it when you wanna like fry tacos, I think, and put it in this way, but I use it upside down, I think, um, to let the tacos cool. Um, you can also let your taco cups cool in like a jumbo muffin tin if you wanna make like a bowl. Um, but I'll, I'll show you how this rolls. So what you need for this is grated Parmesan cheese and then a two tablespoon scoop. Um, and all you wanna do is kind of like sprinkle the cheese evenly over the bottom of a frying pan. If you use a small frying pan for this, it helps. Um, depending on the thickness, that you sprinkle, you might need to add a little more. Basically, you just don't wanna be able to see the bottom of the pan. Um, Cause what you're doing is creating a layer and your heat should be like on medium. Like a grilled cheese, patience is key here. It's like grilled cheese and pancakes. If you try to get the heat too high, then the cheese you know, will burn before it kind of like toasts. And um, tongs really help for this recipe. So you're just gonna let the cheese melt and then it's gonna get like a little golden. It's almost like making a crepe, but it's a super low carb crepe because it's all fat. <laughs> um, while we're waiting for this to toast, um, I'm gonna make two kinds of tacos today. Um, I have some uh, short ribs in my Instapot that I'm just, kind of like pressure cooking to make a meat filling. And then I'm gonna make a cauliflower tikka masala filling. This cauliflower tikka masala filling is so easy. It's totally vegetarian and um, it is delicious with escabeche, which is sort of like a homemade quick pickle. To make this, you just get shredded carrots. Um, you can do shredded like daikon radish if you wanna use this for like a banh mi style. Um, I use red onion and shredded carrots and then a couple of tablespoons of pickled jalapenos. And then um, you put that in a mason jar with a quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener, like erythritol or monk fruit sweetener, um, powdered sweetener, um, a half a cup of unseasoned rice vinegar, and then a half a cup of white or apple cider vinegar and a cup of water. Um, if you want, you can stir all the liquid together um, in a saucepan on low until the erythritol like dissolves into it and then pour it over them. And then it's not, it's a quick pickle, so it's not canning. So you don't wanna leave it at room temperature. You wanna refrigerate it overnight. Um, you can refrigerate it for a couple of hours if you forget to make it the day before and it's still good. Just be aware that the longer you refrigerate it, the more the color of those red onions are gonna color the carrots and they're gonna look a little weird, but I promise it'll still taste good. So this is toasty. Now you kinda gotta be a little, a little careful with this. You wanna flip it over. Ooh. 
I haven't made these in a while, so I'm a little a little rusty on my tortilla flipping skills. Um, but it's a little burnt. Um, just toast it enough on the other side so that it gets brown. And then once it's all kind of golden colored, I just flip it onto this rack. Hopefully you can see this like this. <laughs> and, uh, and you let it cool like that and it cools into the shape of a taco. I'm gonna make a couple more of these, mostly so you can just laugh at me burning these taco shells. Um, but as you can see, you know, that, that goopy piece of cheese is actually, it's really great. If you just sort of like put it over a broiled pepper, um, any kind of vegetable really, I've done it broiled over broiled grilled zucchini um, and it's really good. And it, it's very satisfying because it has that fat in it, but it's not gonna spike your blood sugar because it's not a tortilla which is, you know, almost 100% carbs. You can do this with low carb tortillas, uh, heat them up in this pan, and then, um, oops, I'm just gonna get a spatula to make it a little easy. I think it's cause my stove is a little hot. You can do this with um, low carb tortillas, heat them up in the pan, and then put them on this to cool so that they're in a taco shape. Um, that's also something you can do. It does take some practice to kind of like flip these before they burn. But again, like a grilled cheese, like pancakes, low heat for a long time helps. And you, you kind of got to, once you, when I was doing this like every week for a snack, it was a little bit easier. This is really tricky. Ooh. Yeah, my pan was a little bit hot. So these are gonna be toasty. And you see there's like, there's quite a bit of grease left in the bottom when it's done. So don't be afraid to like, wipe your pan a couple of times in between tacos. Um, but yeah, sometimes I would just like, I would flip this on top of a um, half a bell pepper as a snack. Um, okay, Woo. it's getting very goopy. <laughs> These tacos are going to be a little janky. <laughs> so wipe your pan with a paper towel to absorb some of that grease. I'm just going to show you really, really quick how I do one with, um, the everything bagel seasoning, just so you can see. It actually gives the Parmesan cheese quite a nice flavor. Um, I really liked it. But you get the hang of just how much cheese you need um, to kind of coat the pan. I find that if you get one of those little mini fry pans, that's even better because then you can make like a street taco size. Um, it's a pan that's about a couple inches smaller than this one. So if you're using everything bagel seasoning, just give it a generous sprinkle like that. And it smells really, really good when that onion powder and garlic powder gets toasted. I actually put um, black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds in my, I make my own everything bagel seasoning and the recipe for it is in um, the possible diet. And I put a little bit of the um, Frontier Co-op Green Harvest seasoning in it. I think it's like powdered kale and oregano and stuff. Kind of like a fried egg. But after a few of these, you get the hang of it. I'm just a little out of practice right now. Uh, so yeah, other accoutrements that you might want for your tacos are cilantro. Um, fresh cilantro 
is really good with both um, Indian and Mexican flavors. So I, I like to always have it on hand. It's really great to have it the ready. Other things I put in my tacos, chopped up cherry tomatoes, shredded red cabbage, um, avocado, chopped up green onion. And then I found this um, spicy jalapeno sauce at the grocery outlet. And I mixed it with a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of lime juice, and a couple of drops of monk fruit. So it's kind of like this spicy green crema. Um, if you want, you can also mix like a tablespoon of guacamole in there and that'll be a, like an avocado crema. But I like to get a little, I like to get a little creative with my, ooh, it does kind of look like a crepe. I like to get a little creative with my tacos um, and see how many vegetables I can fit into it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna cook this, cool it on here, and then um, I'm gonna pan fry your tortilla just so you can see what that looks like. So I've got these um, carb savvy tortillas from Trader Joe's, they're only nine grams of carbs per tortilla and I'm pan frying this tortilla in kind of like the fat that was left over from the everything bagel seasoning um, taco, cheese taco that I made. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, again, just like with the cheese, low and slow is the better way to go when you're cooking something like this. You want it to heat up, you want the fat to soak in, um, give it a flip, heat the other side, and then put it on our rack to like make a taco shape. Um, and I'll be back to show you how to make the tikka masala cauliflower filling. So this is probably the easiest taco filling that you will ever make. Um, I just got a bag of cauliflower florets um, I chop them up a little smaller so that they're about this big. Uh, I've also done this with half ground turkey and half cauliflower rice. If you're looking to kind of like hide vegetables in the filling of something, that is an excellent way to do it. Um, and then I just use a jar of tikka masala sauce. Uh, there's something about the flavors. Um, cauliflower is really, really good at just like absorbing the flavors of whatever sauce you put it in but I have found that the combination of tikka masala filling with fresh cilantro and escabeche with like pickled carrots and red onions is so good. It's so delicious in a taco, um, even a regular taco. Like if you're eating low carb tacos and your family is eating regular tacos, there's something about this sauce <laughs> that is really, really good with these same flavors. So all I've done is in my walk, I have it up on high, high, high heat, and um, I gave my cauliflower a spray with olive oil with my misto, um, and you just wanna cook it until it's like, you know, like steamy and a little bit brown. Um, you can add a little bit of water if it like doesn't seem to be taking, which it's not right now. Sometimes if there's not enough fat or um, not enough liquid in a food, it like doesn't really lend itself to the wok. Yep, there it goes. Um, and what you're looking for is for the cauliflower to just get a little bit transparent. So, The difference between the difference between like this and this. You want it to look like this. And it might take you like three to five minutes. And then once the cauliflower 
is looking a little transparent. Then you want to add your tikka masala sauce. I just add the whole jar. Oh, it smells so good. You could do this in a regular saucepan. You don't need a wok. I'm just using a wok so it'll go faster. So at this point, lower the heat to like medium and just let this stew another like five or 10 minutes until the cauliflower is tender um, while you're getting all of your recipe ingredients ready for your taco bar. Um, and then this will be ready by the time all that's ready. Okay, are you ready? Most delicious taco night ever. Um, so first, our tikka masala tacos. We have our lovely tikka masala filling. And again, I used cauliflower in this, but you can use like roasted squash, you can use um, zucchini or yellow squash, anything you like. I just find that the combination, the cauliflower is really neutral and it soaks up the flavor of the tikka masala. And this is the simplest taco ever. It's just like the filling, a little bit of this escabeche, which is really just quick pickled red onions, shredded carrots, jalapenos, and vinegar. Um, and then a little cilantro. That's it. It's super good. And then I've made um, some, these are just like thin sliced Korean style short, short ribs that I cooked in my Instant Pot on the meat setting with like a cup of liquid and a bag of like seasoning, like barbacoa seasoning from La Tortilla Factory. Um, super, super tender. It's ridiculous to me how fast um, and how easy it is to, to cook meat in an Instant Pot. And it's so tender, it's literally like falling off the bones. So with this filling, I like to have a little bit of meat, a little bit of red cabbage, some tomatoes, some green onions, and some avocado. And if you want to get super fancy, you can add some of that jalapeno crema that you made. Totally delish. So yeah, uh, low carb taco Tuesday. Enjoy.